So a lot of people ask me, they say, hey, Bishop, how do you change lights in your bedrooms? Well, today's video is an overview of how to. First thing you want to do, safety reminder, don't take advice from me. Okay, so everything you hear in this video may or may not be the best thing to do. Warning disclaimer. So cut off power to the house. I cut it all out for the whole upstairs. Now, I've already removed the light that was previously there. It's because I operated on maybe misinformation that that fan and light needed to be replaced last week wasn't the right one. I've taken that down. And what I did is I just hit a screwdriver and pretty much took off the light, found the, you know, multiple screws and just kind of started unscrewing. I probably unscrewed too much, but I kind of put it back together. It's sitting over there. But what we're doing right now is we're about to put up a brand new light. So the first thing you want to do, I always do, is take everything out of the box, start reading the manual, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. So no matter how many times you've done this, in my opinion, it's always good to read the manual, but first cut off that power supply and make sure if there's an outlet in the room, which is what I do, flip the light switch on and off, make sure it's in the off position just to make sure that you got the right outlet. And then what you're gonna see up there, you're gonna see the green wire, which of course is the ground. You're gonna see the black, which is the hot, and you're gonna see the white, which is the, the not hot. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna unpackage this, and we're gonna take it piece by piece, put it up in the ceiling. Lego. So I'm gonna unpackage this with you. You got the light. Go ahead and open up the light. There, there it is. This you'll put up last. You'll notice this lamp and uh, fan, the reason why we got these is it doesn't require consistent re uh, light bulb replacements. So it's actually just turned on by your electricity, including the light. So there's a little power outlet in here. So it's good to identify, okay, what's coming up. There's the light. This right here, this hopefully you'll recognize is the last thing you took down from your previous light. So this is going to go up first. Uh, has a ground wire already there, which is great. It has a hook. Always remember where those hooks are. That's where you're gonna hook kind of the light while you connect the wires up there. And uh, primarily you'll see, depending on how your um, house wiring structure is, depends on if you need two screws or potentially four, depending on what's there, if it's a new or older, older home, it could be different. So don't necessarily take what I say as 100% truth around that, but you got the ground wire there, which is good. And so what you'll probably do, I'm sure the instructions will say, We'll be loosening these these screws here. And then we'll, what we'll probably do is take out, ultimately we might take out two of those. But anyway, we loosen these screws so that way we can fit up what we need to next. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these screws just because I anticipate that is going to be a step along the way. And then we're gonna go ahead and take out more from the box. I already took out the blades. The blades themselves, in this case on this fan, require three screws per blade. So I don't wanna bore you with that, but I'll do that here in a bit. But let's go ahead. What you wanna do is just kind of make sure you get it up and going. So we're gonna unscrew this. This right here is a remote. If you're like me, putting the batteries in and, and pressing the button and seeing a light come on, it's like the biggest success, right? It's the first one along the journey. I usually knock this out first consciously to get me like, you know, from a self-conscious standpoint, like, all right, man, you can do this. Despite you knowing nothing about any of this stuff, you can do it. Now, like I said, this one doesn't have the light bulbs. And so what you'll see here is this component is actually gonna stay inside of it. It has a light and a motor where you just plug in, uh, which is nice. So this cord here that ultimately connects on this side, the power outlet. So this connects here and it's just one of those clip connections. So let's go ahead and get this in here up top. There it is, it clicked. And then you'll peel off both this white and the black wire or uh, covers here from the wires so that you can wrap those around the hot and of course the, the cold black and white wires that are coming from your ceiling. So I'll go ahead and take those off and then you'll notice those coils here that will wrap the wire nut around here. So um, yeah, so I always get that ready. This here, this piece you'll put on, this kind of covers from the ceiling to the unit itself. It's more decorative, so you can see there's clamps inside. This kind of goes up sort of towards the end. We'll get to that. This right here is a big kahuna right here. This is what everything kind of goes on. Ugh, do the Hulk Hogan impersonation. Ugh. Sound like a Walking Dead character. So we'll take the, the wrapping off, do the Hulk Hogan, have fun with it. This right here, this you can tell it sits like this. 
so that decorative piece is going to go on top we'll undo the twisty tie here these right here are the wires that are going to connect into that black box i just showed where it said light this right here is what your light ultimately is going to finish on and then obviously here is where the fan blades are going to go this hook here will actually be what we put on this hook see that little hook probably can't yeah there you can see it kind of right there so ultimately when you put this up you put this up first then when you try to lift this on let's try to find it here you can connect it and then look at that look at that huh see how it holds it up there and that also helps you know if you've uh tightened your screws long tight enough so that it can withstand so we're gonna go ahead and put this up and go from there it tells you to look at what outlet Depending on what one, you do screw inside these little sonic rings inside the washer, okay? So that's how you do that. And that's the first step. So let's go ahead. See how it says take out two of those? You take out two of those. Make sure your power's off. Go ahead and install. Mine is an Octa... Uh, I guess I didn't need those in my mouth. Mine's an Octacom box. So let's go ahead and put this up. Hey, don't stare at my derriere. Ah, so you feed the wire, the pre-existing wires through this big hole here. So that way you can ultimately connect them. Then you put this thing around so you can find the holes that it needs to go in. Now I found my two. Put one of these in here. Start feeding that up. Ah, oh no. Oh no. If you're someone like me who has no upper body strength because you haven't been doing your iron gym like you set up in college like you would do. Sometimes you need to take a break. All right, that's up there. Let's move this around. It looks like I lost my placement. There we go. Once that's secure, almost push, try to push down on it. Make sure it doesn't wiggle at all because you're about to put something on it. Now this here, it looks like there was an extra ground wire. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I'll take that off. That probably goes with the old fan or if they replaced the light, they left this one up there. I don't know why. It wasn't connected to anything. Again, you cut off power. So I had to open the window in order to get some natural light. So now once that's on there, second thing is put up the decorative ring before you put up the big unit, okay? So you have to put the decorative ring because if you put the big unit up before that, that decorative ring isn't going to fit around the big unit. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the, the big unit on our little hook there. Kind of what I showed. Did I write this? No. So we have decorative ring. We got this guy. We're feeding this through like so. Try to put it around here like that so it doesn't get in your way. Kind of push it down. Now find the hole to hook on the latch. Look at that, it's working. All right, move your step ladder around to continue. Okay, so this is the scariest part of it all because you're like, yeah, power's off, switch is down, but, right? What we wanna do now that it's up there is take our box that we have the black and white wires too. We want to connect those to the black and white wires that are coming from the house, the hot and the cold. Then you take the wire nuts and screw those on. Use the ones that come with the system. If you use bigger ones, central it could slip out and uh, kind of not work, right? Short circuit. Once you connect these, in this case, this one's a little bit unique. You actually tuck this in inside the light, which I've had difficulty with the other room when I did this, like trying to get that up there by myself. But granted, I was standing on a bed and had deer legs, right? So it's a little bit different. But once you plug this in, then you connect the wires, make sure the light and motor are on set it inside then you kind of lift and, and pull up and then tighten those screws so i'm going to put the screwdriver in my back pocket to have it readily available he's climbing the ladder razor remote he's gonna get the belt all right so what we want to do is connect the ground wire to that oh my god gotta get the caps don't i so i got the the three caps the smaller caps that came with it so i'm going to connect the ground first and then go from there hack that mankind So now that I've connected all the wires, starting with the ground wire, I'm gonna try to kind of twist this up and get this in there and then tighten the screws and then test it before I put the blades on. Sometimes when you push this up, if those wires come disconnected, which I see one almost a little bit loose here, it can be a little bit frustrating, right? You might yell things you don't mean. So we're gonna 
hopefully prevent that. So I'm gonna take it off the hook gingerly, slowly kind of twist this up here, put it inside where it needs to go, like so. Now the two, two screws need it to come out in order for it to go fully up and hook on the other two screws. So I forgot to do that step because I was trying to impress you with my upper body strength, which is lacking. And now I've hooked it up on one. I'm gonna try to hook it up on the other side. Let's see here, okay. Okay, it's hooked up on two sides. I still have these two screws, but it's hooked up, which is great. We got the uh, kind of fancy cosmetic look. So let's go ahead and tighten these screws on each of the sides before we put those other screws in, right? Because maybe a wire got disconnected. You wanna be careful. And this, I mean, honestly, you probably can't see it from your perspective, but this takes an enormous amount of upper body strength. Like, I'm talking like, you're probably thinking, oh, that's easy. You're just screwing in a screw in a light, but it's like, no, like, oh, wow. Do you bench 500? Because that has to be challenging. Oh, oh goodness. That's, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Sometimes when you wear socks, see my feet sweat all the time. So my socks are real slippery. Always wear shoes when you do this, right? I just slipped off my ladder. But let's go ahead, turn on the power. See if we can just see that at least from the fan perspective, it's going around. Cause that connector's up there. The light, if the fan works, it starts going around with the remote, then we have a good probability that the light's gonna work as well. So I'm gonna go turn on the power, try it with the remote, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I just flipped the power back on. Like I said, one of the biggest oh, achievements is getting that remote on. I'm gonna flip the, the light switch. And in this instruction it said, hold one and two for about three seconds. And we can see that it's spinning right now. So that to me says, okay, power's connected. It's on. Kind of scared me there. <laughs> Spinning really fast. Let's go to one. Speed of one should slow down just a little bit, which is exactly what it wanted, what we wanted to do. Then what I'll get, do is say, okay, the unit's working. I'm gonna flip off the switch. Let's cut power to it. You can go and probably flip off the fuse. You probably might wanna do that since we're about to connect the light to it. However, having the power off from the light switch itself to me, is enough for what we're trying to accomplish here. So now what I'm gonna do is connect each of the fan blades, which again, there's three screws and three washers per screw. I'm not gonna bore you with that. But right now from a recording standpoint, we're only about 20 minutes in. And, that's, I, and I'm not a handyman, right? I'm an Andy man. And so I would say the average Joe, and I would say I'm even below that tier, should and probably could do something like this without hiring an electrician. Now again, use your own risk. So let me go ahead and hook up the fan blades, Look, hook up the light, and we'll go from there. Another thing to consider is this fan, each blade, like I said, has a screw with a washer on it. I put up all the blades first and then go up there. On my step ladder, I'm gonna put all the screws on. So that way I'm just kind of knocking it out quickly before I put that light on. Also, we can see uh, I turned it on quickly, but turned it off right away because I only had those two out of the four screws on that main unit. So be very careful if you're testing it before you go through all this. One of the reasons I like to test it is because I failed like three or four times on the the other room and then I was holding that unit with the blades because I didn't want to take off all the screws again you know like this while like trying to connect those wires it was a mess and I was standing on a bed doing deer legs so you know what I mean all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws in and then we'll connect the light and hopefully will be squared away. One other little life hack here is when you're putting the screws in, you're actually putting force on it. So it helps you kind of understand, okay, did I tighten those screws up top enough? You know, do you have kids that are like me who are gonna jump and try to, you know, go around on the fan? It's a little bit wobbly, but that's only because that octagon box, I know from previous fan being in here, like one of my little ones, it just kind of pulled down on it, didn't fall off, but that's also a good test. And then when you're dealing with fan blades where there's three screws, I always say, you know, get the one in the middle, right? And then the other ones are a little bit easier because you don't have light, right? If you're trying to do this at night and you have a cell phone, it's kind of hard to see these little holes. So that's something to keep in consideration if you're a newbie like me. Now that I have all the blades up with three screws in each blade, I'm taking the light. What you have to do is remove three screws that are already in there though. You remove those three screws from that base plate there. You untwist the light like so. You're presented with the actual bulbs. Then when you put it up, do you see those three holes there? So you take the screws out, put it up, align, screw, screw, screw. Then the bulb's the last thing or the, you know, this guy. So it's the next day. 
turn on the power, put the bulb on there. Gonna go over here and say, let there be light. And so there was, and there goes the fan. So it's working successfully. It's a very bright light. I like it. I like the way it turned around. What I like to do is turn the fan on high, the highest setting, let it sit, make sure it's not wobbly or anything like that. But you can see the fan is blowing. The light is on there. It feels pretty good right now in the room and it was a mission success. Unfortunately, I got interrupted while I was finishing out and couldn't complete the video yesterday. But the fan is on and it is working. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. This is how, this was how to put up a fan in a room.